that I am telling the truth. In the diaspora, I cannot tell the truth. I try. I could not speak of the real Yeshua. I try. And my forefathers tried. And they before them have tried. And they were told the same thing, and not just in the way I was told. They were told at the point of a sword at their neck, you will not say those things again, because we don't believe them. So the rabbi spoke to Simcha Perlmutter and said, young rabbi, you may know the truth, but now is not the time to speak it. When you go back to your land, ah, that's a different story. When the ingathering takes place, ah, that's a different story. I'm running out of time, but I want to show you one more thing. Another book. This very large book that I have here contains many, many words. From the Talmud and from the Holy Books, it's completely a Jewish lexicon. And over here, we have, notice it carefully, Yeshua HaBen. If you see all the columns, this is a Jewish book. There's not a word of English in it, not that I know of. I haven't seen it yet. And the word Yeshua HaBen. Now what is Yeshua HaBen? Notice that's Yeshua, the name of the person, Yeshua. And then HaBen means the son. Yeshua the son. What does it say? I'm going to read it. It's very short. It says, Kidui Latekes, meaning a shortened form or a, a, a nickname of the ceremony, Shel Pidyon Haben, of the redeeming of the firstborn. You see, in Judaism, when a mother gives birth to a first child, and that child is a male, and it passes the womb, that child then 30 days later must be redeemed because he doesn't belong neither to the mother nor the father, he belongs to Hashem. And he must be redeemed. How do we redeem him? With 30 pieces of shekel, 30 pieces of silver. And who is it paid to? The Kohen, the high priest. And then he's redeemed. And that ceremony, by the way, is called Yeshua Haben. Because we call the ceremony by the same one. In other words, the ceremony, the name of the ceremony, Yeshua Haben, is the very redeeming feature. Yes, we pay the money, but we pay the money ceremonially. But the name of the actual ceremony, and every rabbi will know this, and concede it's the truth, Yeshua Haben. We call it Yeshua Haben because He is the redemption of our firstborn sons. Every firstborn son who is a Jew is redeemed by the name of Yeshua the Son at the 30-day ceremony after His birth. I'll, read, I'll finish the, the sentence. Shall pidyon haben habachor haneerach bim loot shloshim yom lehuladato, which is conducted thirty days after the time of his birth. And we read these words. Notice, pina menu moshiach tzidkenu, torn away from us is Messiah our righteousness. Someone tore him away from us. Someone ripped him away from us. We are in a state of collapse, so we have no one to justify us. That our transgressions and our crimes are burdened upon Him. And He has become desecrated. He, He has become, that one that we have seen as Yeshua has become desecrated. Me. Uh, from our crimes. So well He suffers from the shoulders, the brunt of our sins. He finds forgiveness for our transgressions. That we are healed by his wounds, by his stripes. That he is eternally recreated anew. From the circle of the Gentiles, raise him up, cause him to ascend. Let's get him back, let's bring him home. Seir means Mount Seir. By the way, here we're sitting just a few kilometers to the east of us where Mount Seir is. I'm not giving you something original, I'm giving you something that has been given to you by the tradition of the wise men of blessed memory, Chazal, our rabbis before us. That, we may, that he may be heard on the Mount of Lebanon, which is 
called the, mount, uh, the mountain of the Lord's house is called Lebanon because it was made with the house of Hashem was made by the cedars of Lebanon. Shanit, that we will hear of a second time. By the hand of Yinon, and Yinon is another uh, name that we use in Gematria to stand for the same name that we read during Rosh Hashanah, Yeshua. Yinon is another one of those secret names. So you see, with all that, we talk about the same thing, the Mashiach. We call it Yeshua Haben. Okay? Do we know or do we not know? The mad rabbi of the desert, Simcha Perlmutter, did not put those words in that book. It was put in by some very wise and intelligent rabbis long before Simcha Perlmutter was even a thought. Simcha Perlmutter has only one job. To comfort my people from the midst of the desert. To comfort my people by saying the time has come that we no longer have to fear. We no longer have to fear about telling the truth. We can speak the truth to ourselves. We can speak the truth to our neighbors. We can speak the truth to all on Israel. We can bring it out, not just in the window, but take it outside on the streets and not worry about thieves, robbers, rapists, and murderers. We can bring it to the light, the beautiful sunshine of Israel. We can bring it to the beautiful flowers of the Galilee. We can bring it to the beautiful sparkling waters of the Kinneret and of Yam Amelach and of the Salt Sea, which will soon not be the Salt Sea. It will be a very living sea, not a dead sea. We don't have to worry any longer. The prophecies are being fulfilled and every prophecy was only about one thing, the days of the Mashiach, we've been told. 